evaporating up on top of this with this huge beam. It's just the extra water is still flowing where they meant for it to go in the 1850s. Suddenly, like, I looked at something and I realized, you know, that depression is not natural. You know, I, I didn't know what those structures were. Then we laid out the tape measure and it was 200 feet by 200 feet by 40 feet. And it was like, oh, this has to be something. I was wandering in a straight line because I figured if I wandered straight in one direction, I could always just wander back the same direction. My aha moment is when we walked out through the woods and hit that dirt road and saw all the workings from C&H. And then we walked over and started working in that the engine house and the boiler house and the big stack up there. And I says, holy man, I had no, I had no idea any of that stuff was there. What I'm drawing led me to, I guess, how the structure worked. Once I was able to see sort of the way that that worked its way through the landscape, I think I was better prepared to, to look at other features, specifically in the town site when um, the, the terrain was much more difficult to read. I mean, if you have a perfectly good concrete pad, why would you put some wood there? Um, and then it occurred to me that if you're pouring concrete, you have to pour concrete into something. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was big and I knew it was all interconnected, but when you finally start to realize the way things moved through the site and the way that we moved through it, I think that was um, a big moment for me. I found something and then I was like, there's no one here to share it with. I thought I knew the cliff site and I didn't know it at all. <laughs>